do an aesthetic walk. There we go. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's adventure brings us to a very exciting place. I am at Van Life Campgrounds. So this place is super interesting. Apparently this person who is a van lifer bought a piece of property somewhere outside of Joshua Tree and decided to make his own campground specifically geared towards van lifers or other vehicle dwellers. So for right now, this place is run by mostly volunteers and it just so happens that my friend is camp hosting this month. So I decided to take the opportunity to come visit her and check this place out. It's super cool because this place offers a variety of different amenities, some that you don't even see in like regular campgrounds as well. I believe price differs throughout the year and I'll have to double check with my friend to see exactly when they're open throughout the year, but I think like they shut down probably for the summer months because it just gets too hot. But yeah, they offer so many amenities including like bathrooms and showers, uh, a community hangout place, a community kitchen. They even have a pool here. They also have a Starlink set up and Wi-Fi. So let's take a tour of the place. As you can see, I'm currently hanging out in the community trailer, which is just this cute little vintage trailer that they have set up. You can see up here that they have like games and stuff, a tiny little sink. I've heard that they do like movie nights in here or if you just need a place to hang out to escape from the wind because I hear it was like super windy this past weekend. Hi, Goo. Goo, it's me. Hi, Goo Goo. Hi. Okay, you don't want to be on camera. Okay, so here we have the community kitchen. Looks like they have propane hooked up to like an oven. There's a sink here. And they even have several pots and pans that uh, you can all like use and share. This magic sink is actually where you can dump your gray water. <laughs> That's clever. All right, next to the community kitchen, there is also a community bathroom here. I believe that they have a composting toilet, as you can see. So that's a nice amenity. So this is where they have set up a little shower and they even have lockers here if you're staying for long term and you need to store some valuables there. This is the shower room. There's hooks here to hang your towels or clothes. And they even have like a little hot water heater. Very nice. All right, this little structure here, let's go check out what it is inside. They even have a community store on site. So people who are artists that stay here, they leave some stuff here, they leave their information here. You can get stickers or pins. Okay, so for the most part, these are primitive sites, obviously, but if you need to like plug something in to charge it, they do have the option over here. Also, this is super cool. This is not something you'd see at any other campground, but they have a whole section that's for fitness. They have a little fitness set up here. So if you're in the mood to get a workout in, you can do that here.
That's my friend's van right there. <laughs> That's apparently the camp house position. I just sort of parked behind her, but I may end up moving later. Also available here at the Van Life Campground is this cabin, which uh, let me show you. Also available is this extra cabin with a very comfortable queen size bed. I just helped my friend make the bed. You can rent this cabin, I think for 90 some dollars if you are just starting out life on the road and you're curious about van life. They give you the option to stay here and um, got its very own heating and cooling system in here. Nice little table, so cute. That's it for the tour. Today on the schedule, we're gonna throw a little pool party. There's only like three of us campers here today, so it's gonna be a very small pool party, but it's really hot, so let's get in the cool water. I don't know if you heard that, probably not on camera, but there's a bunch of coyotes howling right now. I decided not to bring Tyson with me this trip. Um, I knew I'd be hanging out with my friend and I'm only here for just like two nights. So he's back at base camp with my parents. After hearing how many coyotes there are out there, I'm really glad I left him at home. Why would you do this? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a good idea. Hey, you remember when Made My Campground caught on fire? So it's uh, really windy right now. I can feel the car rocking a little bit. I actually think it's uh, gonna help me sleep, so I don't mind it so much. What in the heck? Goo mm. goo, come back. Okay, bye. You want a plate? A plate, because I'm rolling mm. croissants. Thanks. Okay, how does one rip this apart? 
There we go. You are not being left out. Look at him. His head is so cute. Don't be whining at us. I assume one is fine. Have you done this before? No, but I got a recipe from Bunny. Okay. hoping that it somehow becomes oh no trash over here it's whatever fun. it doesn't have to be pretty it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to taste good and we hope it tastes good yeah got some behind the scenes footage what are we making riley we are making um ham and cheese croissant rolls okay it's definitely not what i would consider pretty but it might taste good. Hopefully, that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's rolled, it's rolled. Finally, yes. I got the <laughs> angle down. Wow. <laughs> okay, I need to watch it. Or that's fine. <laughs> what do you think of this shirt? Christine got it for me. I love it. Purple's kind of my color. Oh, I may have accidentally burnt them. Oh, look. That's all right. This is like a practice run. Ooh. I may have cooked them a little longer than I would have originally liked, but you know what? I think it'll still taste good. It's hot right now. It's like 80 some degrees. So we're sitting by the pool again and we got DJ Christine in the back there. So that's my review of my stay here at Van Camp here just outside of Joshua Tree. I'll leave a link for the camera in the description box below. So if you find yourself in the area during their open season, just so you're aware, they're closed for the summer months. So from May to like September, they're closed. Um, but once they're open and if you want to come and check this place out, go ahead and click the link in my description box. I think it's totally worth it. I really enjoyed my stay here and I look forward to future visits here. Thank you guys so much for following along on my journey and I will see you next time. Bye. You have some angles at least. Thank you for the angles. See, and you think you're not an influencer. I'm an influencer. You're so an influencer. You're the better influencer. <laughs> Try to get an aesthetic video. <laughs> I cannot open this because my hands are all hammed up. Yammed up. Hammed up. Yammed up. Hammed up. That's B-roll. <laughs> Welcome to my pool party. <laughs> Van Camp, VLC, Joshua Tree, Van Camp, 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 Joshua Tree, Van